What's going on everybody? So the top three safeties in Madden 15 has just been released. And Jarius Bird at 96, I can't argue it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do know he was injured before he left Buffalo. I, I don't know if that bulge in his pants right there is his penis or if it's extra padding. It's a lot of things that's going on right now. Listen, the bottom line is the way he played last year, look, I got to give him credit. You know what I'm saying? Buffalo didn't think that he was worth the money. You know, the uh, the New Orleans Saints, shout out to my boys in New Orleans down there. I got, got a couple dudes out there that I know. Uh, yo, they needed it. They needed some defense, bro. Their defense has been mad porous, giving up mad plays, and they needed it. So, uh, I guess one man's trash is another man's treasure, I guess. I don't know. We'll see if he's still going to be a 96 overall when he's there. O only time will tell. But, you know, number one is based on the ratings that he had last year. It's as simple as that. So, I can't really argue it because he was a monster, bro. Yo, point blank, period. That's it. Um, coming in at number two, who do we got there? We got... Earl Thomas. I thought that he would be number one just for the simple fact that, you know, Super Bowl winning team, dude is mad fast and will pop the, yo, that dude will pop the pussy like a zit, dog. Like, I really just, you know, when I think about it, it's just, I, I, like, you know, the czar Danny Moore from EA Sports, like, I, yo, listen, if he's a czar, that, that, it is what it is, bro. I just don't know. It's kind of a toss up for me because I would rather have Earl Thomas. And it's not because of anything else other than the fact that, you know, he has a ring, dog. Like, he really just played up up to par. This guy is one of the main reasons why, uh, what's that, boys? Uh, Richard Sherman is, you know, how he, you know, how he does as well as he does. You know, he's primarily in zone, as we discussed in a lot of um, debates that we've been having in my previous videos. This guy is definitely one of the top men. I thought he should have been number one. That's just my personal opinion. You guys leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, you got, of course, I'm always welcome for a, a nice bashing if you guys make sense. Um, number three, Devin McCourtney. I could have swore that this guy was a cornerback. Was he? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, bro. You know I'm not saying I'm the fucking the guru at what positions people play. I just commentate and speak, dog. Um, I could have swore I seen this man playing corner a whole lot, though. I, I didn't know. Uh, did he move him to free safety? I, I don't know. Somebody enlighten me. My Patriot fans, I know I got a lot of them out there. Even if you're new to the channel, definitely enlighten me. Let me know a little bit of history behind Devin McCourtney. Because I, I just have a feeling that I, I know that Bill Belichick had him in his corner for a couple of times. But he's definitely a very, very good secondary player. You know what I'm saying? A corner, free safety, in the stands, banging your girl. Like, this dude gets it in, dog. So, I think I think I, I recognize the name all the time I see it. And you got to remember, I'm over here in New York. So, the Patriots play the Jets twice a year. So, I see him all the time. But I could have saw his corner. Let me know if I'm wrong, if he was a cornerback, or if I'm just a straight-up douche. Either way, just let me know, bro. All right, coming in at number four, Eric Weddle. He signed a wild contract when the Chargers just, I didn't know what the Chargers, like, bro, I don't know. He's a great, he's a great safety. Let me just start by saying that. He's a great safety. I don't know if I would have spent as much money on him uh, uh, instead of, like, trying to buy, you know, buy other things other tools that you can help Philip Rivers out with because Philip Rivers has 76 kids and he's fucking right now and his wife is probably still pregnant. So that man needs more offensive weapons. Um, O-line needed some work. You know what I'm saying? I I'm, I'm not sold on Matthews. I don't know. If you guys tell me. My Chargers fans, I got fans from all 32 teams that leave comments. You guys let me know what you think. Should they have spent the money on Weddle? I don't know. I would have tried to build my franchise around a guy that fucks like a goddamn rat, bro. This guy, Phillip Rivers. I, yo, you guys let me know. L let me know what the deal is. I definitely think he should be in the top five, but I wouldn't have paid as much money for him, but that's the reasoning behind him being there. I would have to assume that. Coming in at number five, none other than Charles Woodson, man. This dude is the ageless wonder, and I'm still pissed that he didn't get that ring against the Patriots when they came, when they came up with the tuck rule. Yo, me and Charles Woodson go way back to when he was in college, bro. Because he allegedly fucked one of my friend's girls when he was in college. But that's a whole other story. I got to see if I can get my dude on the phone and he can tell you guys the story. But that's just that's just coming into something else that we need to talk about. Other than that, this man, it's a major drop off from 94 to 86, Mr. Czar Danny Moore. But it is what it is. I don't know if there was anybody in between that that could have probably been there. I could name a few names, but I'm just going to keep it to myself. You let me know if you agree with this. Also, if you guys come up with a better top five, you guys can follow me on Twitter and tweet your top fives. If you guys tweet your top fives and give me good enough reasoning for it, I will make a video with your top five and your name. But it has to be good reasoning. Remember to follow me on Twitter and give me your top five. And until next time, it's always one love.